Let's check out some literal equations because they are literally amazing. Actually, you'll probably you know, dislike them a little bit. Until you get the hang of it, then you'll be good. All right, solving for a particular var variable is basically what we're going to deal with with literal equations, meaning there's a lot of variables going on. That's what we mean when we're talking about a literal equation. So right here we have P equals 2L plus 2W. Now, anybody know what this uh, formula is used for? That's very good. It is for perimeter. 2 times your length plus 2 times your width gives you your perimeter. Well, we can solve this particular equation for maybe L or W. Right now it's solved for P, but let's say we want to solve for W. Okay, and solving for L would basically be the same. So let's do that. Well, if I've got P equals 2L plus 2W, and I want to solve for W, I want to get W on its own side. So I'm going to subtract 2L to start. So I've got P minus 2L equals 2W. Well, how do I get W by itself? I divide by 2. So my answer would be W equals P minus 2L over 2. That's one a possible answer. Or some may write it, and sorry for kind of writing all over the place, but some may write it as W equals, and they'll actually divide out these twos. But remember, you have to divide the P as well. So they'll have P over 2, or 1 half P, so you can write that as P divided by 2, or 1 half P, minus L. And they can write that as their final answer. So on a multiple choice test, you're going to have to find that right one. But you know, on a free response, Something like this, or like this, depending on what your teacher states, uh, may be okay. All right? Here's another awesome example of a literal equation. What is this representing? Ooh, you're very, you know, very good. You guys are right on top of this. It is for the conversion of Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius. But guess what? Right now it just says Celsius equals that. So if you have the Fahrenheit temperature, you can figure out the Celsius temperature. But what if we have the Celsius temperature and we want to figure out the Fahrenheit? Say you're in any other part of the world other than America, they use Celsius. But you're like, man, I wish I knew what the temperature was in Fahrenheit so I knew how to dress when going outside today in whatever other country in the world besides America because they all use Celsius and they you know use metric and stuff like that which all makes sense but whatever we're America we do what we want you know what I'm saying America okay well we can solve for F in terms of C meaning we're gonna solve for F and in the answer it's still gonna have a C in it okay so we got a couple options here first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna get rid of this fraction on the side here now I can divide by five ninths, but really that's basically the same as multiplying by nine fifths, right? M dividing is this dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So I multiply this by nine fifths, these are gonna cancel and this is gonna cancel, but I gotta have nine fifths on the other side. So I have nine fifths C equals F minus thirty two. And then one last step, add thirty two so my answer is 9 over 5C. Let me write that 5 a little better there. Sorry about that. And then we have plus 32. And that would be my degrees Fahrenheit. So there's my new formula. So basically you can manipulate formulas to plan into your particular variable that you want to use. Now if you have Celsius, I can just go ahead and plug that in and I can get what I have for degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty sweet. I mean imagine if you didn't have your phone which has, totally has the conversion on it and you're like in another part of the world, you're like, oh, what temperature is it up? Oh, I see a thermometer outside because I couldn't check my phone because it's broken right now. And you're like, oh my gosh, you know, it's 20 degrees Celsius. How would I ever know what temperature it is outside? You can plug it right in for C. Woo woo! Soup's cool. Right on, right on. Wait, let's, you know what? Let's find out what it would be. If I plugged in 20 for C, I have 9 times or 9 over 5 times 20 plus 32. Well, 20 divided by 5 gives me 4, so that's like 9 times oops, 4 plus 32. Well, that's 36 plus 32. 
Woo! 68. You know, I mean, you could go, you go jeans and like a tee. Maybe you go long sleeve and some shorts. Or maybe you just go like flannel and a, and a tee, you know, flannel and, a, and, and some jeans just in case, you know, it gets a little chillier later. But you know now. You know what to wear. Right on, right on. All right. Very nicely done with these literal equations. I know they can be a little bit painful.